Peggy 18. Hey everyone, Drew Holmes from Volition here to bring you Saints Row the Third, the most ridiculous, most over the top experience in gaming. Today, we'll introduce you to our new City of Steelport and show off some of our brand new open world gameplay. Let's get started. Welcome to Steelport, our new city of sin and home of Saints Row the Third. This section of the city is owned and operated by the Luchadors, a gang of Mexican wrestlers that specializes in drugs and gambling. But we'll get to that in a bit. Right now, let's say hello to some of the citizens of Steelport. Time to clear the sidewalks. As you can see, Steelport is a very friendly place. Our goal was to create a sandbox where nothing is scripted. Everything is dynamic and players have the freedom and choice to do what they want. Even if that means assaulting homeless people with a giant purple dildo. Now, when we say over-the-top weapons in action, we mean it. This, for example, is the Apocalypse. Wow. Oh Imagine the apocalypse infused into a boxing glove. Very effective. Now, in SR3, the Saints are at the top of their game. International celebrities with their own brand of merchandise and energy drinks, and instead of grinding from the bottom, we want you to start out at the top with all the perks that go with being the leader of an elite criminal organization. We want you to feel like the ultimate badass and play like it too. For example, we could try to take out this gang with an assault rifle triggering a massive firefight, or instead, we could call in an airstrike. That right there is the power of the Third Street Saints. Now we're gonna jump into one of our activities, Tank Mayhem. The object of Mayhem is to cause as much monetary destruction as possible in a set time limit. We thought that was fun, and then we decided to go ahead and add a tank. Tank Mayhem is just one of what we call activities, often hilarious side missions that will help you earn money and respect in a variety of over-the-top and ridiculous ways. You can always blow up a car, or if you want to, you can completely flatten it as well. We successfully completed this activity. The city is pretty much ruined at this point, and we've got a whole bunch of cash to go along with it. Something we preach in the design process over and over again is player choice. How do you want to look? How do you want to play? These are important questions we want you to answer. For example, do you want to wear a furry costume or a spacesuit? Everything's up to you. This is Let's Pretend. It's one of our many clothing stores in Steelport where you can purchase anything from cowgirl suits to pirate costumes to gimp suits. Of course, if you are so inclined, you can always play naked, and we do feature a sex appeal slider. Now that we're all suited up, it's time to take a drive. Saints Row style. You could just open the door to the sports car, or why not dive through the window? It's up to you. Driving is a key mechanic. We've completely overhauled the physics, and as you can see, driving is fast, fluid, and fun. You can stop on a dime, power slide around corners, or even flip the car 180 degrees and continue driving in reverse. Which is pretty good in a firefight. Remember, the Saints are celebrities. If you start peeling out and spinning donuts, the citizens of Steelport are gonna stop and cheer for you. And if driving isn't your thing, we have other modes of transportation. 
This is the VTOL, the vertical takeoff and landing jet. And it wouldn't be Saints Row if it didn't have plenty of ultra cool weapons, so we've added microwave lasers and homing missiles as well. And at the touch of a button, you can toggle between hover mode and jet mode. Nothing quite like an astronaut, or a furry mascot, or a pirate, or a naked fat dude piloting a fighter jet. But that's all part of the fun of Saints Row. Before we finish this demo, we've got a couple other surprises for you. Because the Saints are a household brand name, it's not uncommon to see things like various vehicles around the city, like for instance, the Johnny Gatmobile. And of course, that cigarette in his mouth is actually a flamethrower. This uh, vehicle usually has the right of way. This little beauty is Professor Genki's super ballistic manipulator, capable of vacuuming up pesky pedestrians and firing them as human cannonballs across the city. And of course, if you or your co-op partner want to give it a try, you can do that as well. That wraps up our demo of Saints Row the Third. We've got a lot more in store as we get closer to our release date of November 15th. Thanks for watching.